All right, guys, what is up? Inferno has now been released for the CS2 playtest and some really interesting um, topics we could discuss as well, maybe in a separate video about the new matchmaking system with MR12 coming in. It's a different topic for a different day. This is my raw first impressions of the new Inferno for CS2. And I'm gonna be just going through the whole map and giving you my thoughts as is uh, as I've done in the past with other maps uh, throughout the, the years of CSGO. So let's have a quick look, shall we? Uh, first off, definitely gives a very Italian vibe, just being sat here. I can hear, hear like uh, scooters and stuff in the background. Reminds me of when I used to live in Italy for a while. Looks really cool. Rest in peace, tic-tac-toe. You will be f remembered. And the bells as well. Oh, they're still here. Does it give a different sound each time? It does. Very nice, very nice. So some, some of the classics have stayed. Some of them have been removed. We used to have a radio here, obviously. It's no longer here. Um, this looks very clean, very nice. A little bit more cover now to shoot up into the windows. Could be pretty cool to stop people pushing in and checking that out. Also, the backdrop, I think, is cleaner to spot CTs if they push into the bedroom area. I don't know if you guys would agree or not. Maybe it's the resolution I'm playing on. Incidentally, by the way, I am playing on 1280 by 960. So this is not native resolution. Just do keep that in mind. Um, if you think the game looks a bit weird, that's why. Uh, but I feel as if this is easier now to see the models peaking you than it was before. Especially at range. Let's have a look over here as well. So this is pretty much what you'd expect. Definitely looks a lot better graphically. You know, they've given it the, the, the CS touch with the same with Nuke and the rest of the maps that have been released. Been very impressed for the most part. Oh, this looks really nice. A little cozy area, refurbished area, but by by the most part the same. Still got a bit of a hidey spot in this angle. A lot of safe positions there. Got the underground statues, which you can break. Ooh, this is this has been widened a little bit. I feel like and. I also think it is going to be easier to see people peeking down there as well. They've, they've definitely brightened it a little bit. Hold on a second, though. I think you get an extra, a very small amount of cover when you're peeking down here. I feel like it wasn't quite like that before. So I think, yeah, it's going to be harder for you to sit on this, this wall and watch. I think now you're going to have to wide swing a little bit more to check the angle. So just a small little detail, um, which could make a pretty big difference still hide in these angles this looks very very clean doesn't it ah additionally you don't have to jump up anymore you have stairs well you do have to jump up on this part okay way better colored now like the lighting is so much better i assume you can wall back let's have a look yeah you can so this little wooden area this sword doesn't open um I don't think you'll be able to wall bang the stone. Oh, you actually can. Okay. So I guess you're still going to be able to, to do the usual wall bang spots from the bridge and shoot through on this angle here to stop people pushing into the apps. The lighting is very, very nice, I have to admit. And it's super smooth as well. That's the one thing that constantly surprises me and impresses me about CS2 is how smooth it feels. You know, there's no jittering, no lags, nothing like that. So in terms of mid... Feels a lot cleaner as well, less clutter. Still got your half wall angle here. It does feel a little bit different though, the mid portion, compared to before. Maybe it's because this has all been extended. Underground, very well lit. Very, very well lit with this light here. Uh, it does look extremely clean. Can run a little bit further as well without having to crouch. I'll get back to the top of mid in a moment. Let's check out banana, the classic position. So instead of logs now, you got some barrels. Same kind of idea though. I assume you can jump on top of these and you can still have a quick peek. Indeed you can. This half wall area is still there. Yeah, okay, still can't wall bang it with AK, but I would imagine you can wall bang it with an AWP. Oh, hold on. Oh, I can't go back and get an AWP. I'll check that out later on. Top. This is all going to be wall bags. Yep. Sandbags. 
looks extremely clean as well. Got the mid statue fountain area. Oh, so this is now like properly walled off. Can you shoot through here though? You can shoot through there. Okay. Can't shoot through these though. So as as was before. Just like the lighting is the thing that I'm noticing the most here, how clean it is. You can still jump up on top of this back box. You have coffin, which is still there. Cool bit of graffiti. Nice throwback at least. You can keep calling it coffins for the next generation of players. Oh, that's so nice. You can hear kind of like a like an organ or something playing. Oh, this this is very nice. This is a very nice touch. Now, is this is it wall bangable? It is wall bangable. So if someone wants to try and hide behind here, you can definitely shoot them. Have some little chairs you can jump up on top of for a different angle. Still gonna have your hidey spots in here. I wonder if you can boost. I don't think you will be able to. That church looks amazing. It sounds great as well. Very atmospheric. Very nice. Um, I just want to check here if you can still smoke. Uh, you're going to have to learn completely new lineups, I think. As you can see, a little bit off on that one. And then this smoke is now gone, I, I'm pretty sure. So the one to coffins. I don't know, can you throw it from this angle? You probably can. You're going to have to relearn all of your smoke lineups here, boys. Um... This is, this is very different because of this overarc type position. And then before, obviously, you had a lineup with like a cloud, which is like up here somewhere. I'm down so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to relearn all of this stuff. Plus, the way the smokes work is just dra drastically different with how they plume. So, yeah, you're definitely going to have to relearn those smokes. Uh, backsides can still use these hidey spots slash save positions going into CT spawn. What oh, is Speedway? Okay, so they've got rid of the little, um, I don't know what you call it, like well area, which I'm not completely against because people used to hide up there and save. So that's now gone. It's been cleaned up considerably. Let's look at library, which is definitely going to be something else now. It's like a cellar, little bar area much much cleaner than before as well which is nice you still got your little alcove position here they maintain this top of mid now another little position she can hide in it's going to be a cheeky angle i think some people are going to use that one for sure quad pretty much the same are you going to be able to jump yourself oh okay oh hold on it's probably just me being bad to be fair uh, i'm not sure Seems to be blocking me from jumping up here, so I'm not sure I can make this by myself. Oh, you can. And then I'd imagine if you were more skilled, you'd be able to make that jump by yourself. I think you will be able to now. So that's pretty useful. If you can get on quad just through movement. So the pit area has been mega cleaned out as well, as you'd expect. You still have the, the balcony area, although there's no longer a railing across the whole side. So you have to be careful you don't fall off this. I actually think this could be pretty good. Because this is the kind of angle in the past, if you were hiding on, um, and a flash came through and you're fully blinded and you try to move away, you'd get stuck on the on the barrier quite a lot. So I actually quite like they've removed that. Just have to be make sure you don't accidentally fall off. You know, the barrier is actually inside the apse itself, which we looked at the other part of the apse. We haven't looked at this. So there used to be a wall bang spot down here. I'm assuming that's going to be the door. So you can still wall bang down here if people are hiding down. Um, there's also a wall bang spot through these doors before. You guys remember? Not sure if that's still going to be the case. It isn't. So now you can no longer wall bang people that are sitting here waiting. Or at least that, maybe you can, but I just don't have the lineup for it. The site itself, extremely clean again. Just your bog standard boxes. The bomb site for the most part is the same. Graveyard has been gutted though. Now nowhere for you to hide in graveyard with the railings or the little wall that used to come down here. So that's a big change to be fair. It's probably one of the biggest changes that I've seen so far. Um, 
That's going to make it a little bit harder for the CTs to play little ratty angles and sort of ecos or, you know, full pistol rounds or whatever. Used to be a pretty nice angle you could use and use someone in pit as well and draw away fire while someone in here just basically popped in and denied the one plant, you know. So that could hurt the CTs a little bit, to be fair. And it could also make holding the site a little bit more difficult when it comes to the flip side when the T's have got the bomb down. So overall, this looks really, really nice. I'm loving this rework. Um, graphically looks fantastic. The lighting is super, super clean, which is very nice. And a couple of the changes, I think, are going to spice up the map just a little bit. But it maintains that same feel and the same vibe. You know, you don't need to, to reinvent the wheel with these maps. The maps are tried and tested and they're classic. Um, Inferno, I still think, is a great map. I think it's still an exciting map to watch. So I'm completely fine with them for the most part keeping this the same. Let me just go back and buy an AWP real quick. So I'm curious if you can still wall bang through that little stone off wall on um, banana. Just testing it for science, you know. Yeah, this is super clean. You can see the cross is where you can pop out here with the AWP. It's for the most part the same. Yes, you can. So that is the same. But yeah, you're going to have to relearn all your smoke lineups and all that good stuff. Um, smokes obviously work differently. Molotovs work differently. So I'm sure I'll be jumping into YouTube and relearning all of this stuff. Additionally, it might be harder to smoke off library now. With these extended walls. I'm sure someone will figure this out. Just I'm throwing this just randomly. See if that works. I think you will be able to. You just have to get the lineup spot on. Um... So the bracket smoke and quad smoke and all that kind of stuff is going to need to be relearned. But yeah, overall, guys, I'm very impressed. You know, um, it's it's kind of par for the course of what we expect with these reworked maps now coming in. I think the hype for CS2 is, is very strong for me, at least. The MR12 differences and changes, in my opinion, are a welcome one for those that are curious. I've been asked a lot on the stream. I think it's going to be, it's going to make CS just a little bit quicker and a little bit bitier. Um, and I'm personally all for it. I'm, I'm very happy with that. I'm curious what differences they're going to be bringing in in terms of the economy, though. And also how it will affect stuff like pistol rounds and eco rounds. That is yet to be seen. They also haven't announced if it's going to be widespread throughout the entire circuit of the pro scene. I feel like if the pro scene stays at MR15, the MR12 changes are going to feel a bit strange. I think it needs to be consistent, personally. Uh, but we will see what happens with that one. Overall, though, this looks fantastic, and I can't wait to play some CS on Inferno. In fact, I'm going to go do that right now on my stream. So I'll catch you guys over there. Thank you very much for watching. And, of course, post in the comment section below. And let me know your thoughts about this reworked Inferno and how hype are you out with 10 for, for CS2 coming around the corner. Catch you in the next video, guys. Peace.